Hey everyone, um, another weekly video. We'll go over Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Solana, Injective, Matic, uh, Pepe, and XRP. And I'll give you my ideas for the next um, week or what I plan to do with these coins over the next week. So let's just get into it. Um, starting off with Bitcoin, um, it's consolidating on support. Now, the longer we're going to consolidate on support, it just tells me that we are going to the downside. Um, that combined with Bitcoin volatility, we had, you know, the lowest that we've ever been since like April. So I we're going to have a big volatile move coming up soon. Um, again, my directional bias is to the downside we've been consolidating on support for Bitcoin for a while and we also have a head and shoulders so if we take a look here here's your left here's your head and here's your right okay there's your neckline touch neckline touch now if we lose this and go down target for this head and shoulders is going to be now this is a technical target okay is going to be around 22k so we'll do some more analysis on on why that level is very important but I'm gonna remove this junk really quickly okay so let's talk about levels for Bitcoin okay so the first major level is going to be this 25 um, 3 to 25 2k okay this was the level that previously was resistance right we rejected before and we had a wick up to this 26.5 um, level, but we still managed to close below and, you know, turn into resistance, right? This was the breakout level. Now, we haven't retested this level and we haven't actually flipped it to support, okay? So I expect some type of bounce here, but as I mentioned in previous videos, we have a demand zone here, okay? This retest of this area doesn't mean that we won't wick below into this uh, demand zone. So 25.3 to 25.2k level is a very important level to retest. It could take a long time to do so. However, I'm not discounting a move down to, honestly, this area here. And that area is from anywhere from 24.6 down to 23.8. OK, you could have a wick below that and still continue to make higher highs, right? Here's your higher high, higher low, higher high, come back down, make another higher low here um, and then continue to make more higher highs. We did have a supply zone here that we did reject from those taking my class. Um, now you know what that is, right? And, you know, if we close below this 26.5 level and turn into resistance, now we have a deviation. So all things for me is pointing to the downside. And I do think that we can, now this is going to do something like this in my opinion, you know, further go down up until like mid-June, early July, and then we have a move up, okay? So in my opinion, if you're going to um, long this area, 25.3, I would possibly go a little lower to 24.7, uh, only because I, I do think everyone is looking for this retest, and having that, you know, wick into this demand zone in here is going to be pretty gnarly. And um, having a stop around 22.8, okay? And we'll target the 28 level, 28.5 level again. Now, 28.5 level, I've talked about this level, is very important. It was previous range high. Let's make that blue. Ah, never mind. Let's make that um, purple. It was previous range high. And then we went above, deviated, right, went above, and we just rejected from it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
So I'm looking for that level to get retested again. Now what's going to happen around that level is anyone's guess. I'm honestly looking for this demand zone at 24, uh, 7 down to, I want, I honestly want to say 23, 8 to get tested and I'm going to have my stop there. It's going to be a leverage play and I do have swap plays. I'm, I'm going to be bidding down every thousand dollars from 20 four five down to 18k all right that's going to be my long-term hold um, we will get those levels and if you don't think so you're a degenerate and you're coping with your undercover water under water bags so I'm looking for that level this is going to be my setup for for Bitcoin 24 um, 720 DCA at 23 800 stop loss at 22 800 um, expect this wick to be nasty take out all the stops right all the longs here probably their their stops are going to be around 24k I'm expecting 24 7 up bounce around this trend line area this wick below can be fine hold this trend line and then further up in this um, falling wedge um, in terms of us going up from the support okay I would love to get back to 27.8 so I can short. However, I will possibly lower my short down to 27.650 and keep my same stop loss um, and then go further down. Okay, if I do get stopped, then I'm looking for this again 24, uh, 28.4 to 28.5 level. I will open shorts there. I post these in the Discord. Um, also on Twitter as well. Um, I won't go much into that, but back to Bitcoin. The other reason why this kind of looks bearish. Um, let's remove these levels here. Depending on how you want to draw your trend lines. We have a breakdown of this bear flag. Okay. We have currently retested it with a current four hour small wick here. Okay. I don't like that. It looks more like a flat candle. Now, closing below and going further down is what I'm looking at. But honestly, I would love to get this short here. Um, around 27650 so if we have a you know 1k candle any pumps in my opinion are for shorting um, but that's why I'm very curious or cautious now this would send us that 23800 level that I discussed here okay so that's why I have bids over there which is also a previous um, resistance level that hasn't been flipped to support yet so that's that's the reasoning for my trade for Bitcoin. Now you know alts are going to be bleeding. Um, Bitcoin dominance is increasing. Bitcoin price is dropping, and that leads to alts just flat out dying. Okay, uh, I do expect a breakout of Bitcoin dominance to about forty nine percent. Forty nine percent. At that point, it's going to be a double uh, a top. Now, is it going to be a double top, or is it going to keep breaking resistance levels? Um, that is the highest it's been since July. Now, if we do, if we continue to keep breaking that, then it's just going to be, you know, terrible for alts. And from now up until August, alts are just going to be dead. Um, Bitcoin price will be dropping as well during that time, but alts are just going to be like rapidly falling compared to Bitcoin. So we've held support. We've actually flipped it to support. 47.77 percent and i'm looking for a breakout first rejection level should come around 48.4 percent give alts like a small little room that's where you can long briefly but if it does you know continue to break out then i'm looking for a possible triple top actually so one two and triple top now if it does break that then we're going much higher uh, on a weekly level let's take a look the next level from there 
is 52%. Okay, so keep an eye on Bitcoin dominance. Um, let me remove this. We actually just put in an inverted hammer. And this is a bullish candle. So I'm bullish on Bitcoin dominance to continue higher. It's going to suck for alts. If you're in alts and you're in profit, please do take profit. Um, for ETH, I gave this play on my Twitter, also in the discords. I said, you know, break below trend line, uh, close below it. You will short on confirmed retest. We did retest and close below, and then we dumped. Now we got a nice 1% move from here. Um, my stops are flattened in profit. Honestly, what I would like for ETH to happen, and again, Bitcoin is bear flagging. ETH looks like a bear flag. What I would like for uh, ETH to happen is this. I would like it to reclaim this trend line, and we've had you know multiple rejections from this 1828 level, 1829 level. Um, it's getting weaker and weaker every single time, but I would love a sweep of Monday's highs into this four hour order block. And that's going to be my confirmation short. Take out the highs, right, into this order block, probably around 1860, close below. I would mark it short with my stop above the wick. Uh, another way you can play it is to set limit shorts at, in this order block. So 1850, and you'll DCA around 1862 with a stop around 1887. It's a 2% risk, but I do think we're going to continue going down more. So that's why I'm positioned for either play. Um, I'm not setting limit bids here. I'm going to take the market short after we sweep Monday's highs. Again, it's going to be a rejection within this order block, and we got close to it the first time. Okay, um, so that's my play and reasoning for my ETH short. Um, Solana looks absolutely fucked. Um, I did mention this in the Discord along with Twitter. Now this level is a major level to overcome. It's the 20.5 to 20.6 level. We've had on this um, trend line major re re uh, rejections from this area. Okay, and honestly, if we do end up going back to this trend line, it's going to be another short until broken. Um, you're going to play the trend until broken and the trend has been a downtrend if we take a look at this on the daily we are actually possibly going to be turning the support that was held at 1967 right support 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 bounce from it we closed below and we are struggling to reclaim it now this daily still has 17 hours to go but if we do close below, we've con we've uh, confirmed that this is now turned into resistance, and the target for this bear flag is actually going to be within this um, daily order block, and that's around 1780, and that's where I plan to long for a scalp back up to like 19 bucks. Um, I'm not going to give the 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 setup here. I gave it on on Twitter. Um, also in the discords, but if we do lose this daily order block, the next levels to take a look at are going to be $15, well, $14.98 to $15, which is a breakout of this resistance that we haven't actually flipped to support. That's going to be an SR area. And then after that, I'm looking at $10. Now, these are long-term levels. It's not going to happen in a day, but this order block is where you should be longing. Um, injective, um, we had four hour order blocks. This one liquidity got taken out, right? Um, those in my class, I gave you the setup in there, how to play it, where the stop loss was. And there was a demand zone here. We bounced right from it. This was actually an SR area. We had broken above, never retested it. There was the retest filled the demand zone and we got a nice like what? 6% bounce from here. Well, my mouth is terrible. 3% bounce. Um, trend line still holding. One, two, three. Uh, I expect this area to still hold. Now, 
what I expect of injective is this. Um, I'm expecting it to go back to 7, 8. This has actually now been turned into resistance. We broke down. It was previously resistance, right? We broke above, took out this four hour order block, came back down. Now we actually turned into resistance. So I'm looking for something like this a short at the resistance level. And stop loss is probably going to be very tight on this coin. It's very liquid. So two places you can play it um, based on your risk tolerance. One, if you want, you, know, you can place your stop loss above there. I'm not going to be doing that. I'll probably place my stop loss either around 730 or if I want a tighter one, around 721. And I will be targeting Um, 680 as my first TP, and then depending on where the trend line is at that point, um, the trend line next, uh, then after that it's going to be 642-ish, and then furthermore, if we do get down there, 588. Okay, so that's your setup for injective. Uh, again, short $7.08. If you want a tight stop loss, your stop loss would be $7.20. If you want to add a little bit more risk to your trade, then you put at $7.32. Um, again, this trade is actually going to be a pretty risky one. When this coin runs, it actually does run. See, here's this four hour candle. It went up almost 60 cents. So I would enter this trade with like maybe a third of my normal position. Matic, um, I'm still waiting for 93 cents. I don't think we'll get it anytime soon. So a new trade plan for this. Uh, I gave this demand zone play last time on this video that I, when I covered Matic. So new trade plan for Matic. Let me actually go to a coin that, or a chart that I haven't touched. Let's take a look at Matic here. Okay. So, we have a supply zone here. This is my short area that I wanted originally. Um, I don't think we will get it. Okay, it was holding its support. We lost it. If we do go back to 94 um, cents, I would be looking to short. However, on a lower time frame, we do have a bear flag. This trend line has been holding, but again, just like the ETH play, right? Break trend line, turn it to resistance, you'll short with your stops probably around 86 cents. So it would look something like this. Again, it's a confirmation play. 87 cents. And this, this uh, bear flag should send it all the way down to... This isn't where the flag goes, one sec. To about 70 cents. Okay, so that's the confirmation play. Now, if we do bounce from here, again, I would love this 94 cent, but I'm gonna short this trend line if we do get it again, because we've had multiple rejections from it, and until it breaks, that's what's going to um, be your resistance. We also have resistance here at 80, uh, 88 cents. So shorting anywhere from 88 cents up to this area with your stops probably above this wick. So it looks something like there and then down to uh, 70 cents, that's the bear flag target, or you have the, you know, breakdown of this trend line, turn it to resistance, then you'll mark it short with your stop around 87.10, okay? So two separate plays, two separate ways to play it, with two separate setups. Uh, Pepe, let's take a look. We have a four hour order block here that hasn't been filled. So again, this is going to be a very risky play because of the volatility in this coin, but also look like a 
what is that, ten thousandth of a penny move is like 12%. Okay, so if you're going with this, you're going to have to go light. Um, the reasoning for that area. Um, now it could, so here is support. It's literally on support currently. Previous all-time high, right? Bounce from support, bounce from support. It's It was literally hovering under support until we broke out. Now it's on support. Okay, did it add a uh, support bounce. Lose this and turn it to resistance. And I know this is a four-hour chart. Stop loss is going to be very tight. And you will target... that four hour order block okay now this could bounce on the trend line um, that's where you could lo look to long but honestly I'm not touching this coin I'm just giving entries of where you would possibly get into it um, this coin has a mind of its own and it's run by degenerates okay um, last but not least XRP now I gave uh, entries to the Discord of where I would be longing XRP, and this was around 46.7. And I said I was buying every penny down. Uh, my DCA did fill. I have an average of 45 um, four currently, and I'm just writing it up. I'm in profit. It actually had a support touch. Resistance is still here. 46.5 is still resistance. We had deviation, deviation. We had a rising wedge here. Right? So I'm looking for a flip of this resistance into support and then continue to go higher. Um, I would love for us to go and fill this order block around 52 cents. That's my first TP. Now, with with this coin, I'm okay holding. I'm only having exposure because I want to see how this SEC lawsuit plays out. Um, I'm not really buying for, you know, the um, extravagant coin that XRP is. Um, I'm just holding and having exposure just in case, you know, good news comes out. Because once XRP starts running, just like Litecoin, it's going to break out massively. So having exposure, in my opinion, is great. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Now, a lot of, this had originally um, an inverse head and shoulders pattern. But as soon as we lost this level and we consolidate up here, we invalidated this right shoulder. So th this inverse head and shoulder is no longer valid. But on the daily, this looks like it might want to break out. Well, actually, drawing it based off this trend line, yeah, it looks like it wants to break out. So, target for this breakout level Now that's a uh, more like a parallel channel, but target for this breakout level is 62 cents, which would send us, this is my first TP for XRP, so 52, and then straight into this daily order block. So I'm holding, I'm having exposure, and we'll see how it goes. But th that's currently what I'm looking at. Um, I will give, you know, I'm in XRP in the discords. Uh, I gave it on Twitter. We should all be in profit if you DCA correctly at the levels that I gave you. Um, and yeah, uh, that's everything. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.